They're working on technology to collect energy from the tennis players next door to also use in the brewing process. <laughs> Beautiful view. Good morning guys and welcome to Leoben in Austria. This isn't actually the view, this is just like a... Nice to meet you, Ben. Nice to meet you, Andreas. Oh, yes. How are you nice doing? To meet you. You're the brewmaster. I'm here, the brewmaster. Okay. <laughs> Let's try and make this not too branded, yeah? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So we were recently in Singapore checking out the Tiger Beer Brewery. We got a lot of comments saying, why are you guys going all the way to Singapore when you live in Europe, which is like the home of brewing beer? I thought, well, that's a good point. This is a really interesting brewery because they have zero carbon emissions, which is the same thing as carbon neutral, means the same thing. But usually you assume carbon neutral to be like, we do things that have a carbon footprint, and then we go and like offset it by planting trees. You don't have to do that at this brewery because it literally is all sustainable zero carbon, which I think is amazing. They're still using like traditional brewing methods, but adapting it so that they have less of an impact. We'll look at all the different technologies that they're using to be sustainable, and we're gonna drink some beer. Welcome to the Gossa factory. Okay, let me try and explain what's going on here. Excess heat from this traditional sawmill over here is actually collected and pipes all the way over to here. Hydropower is collected from the river, which is just there. Wastewater from the brewing process is collected over here and biogas is collected from it. This is quite amazing. They take the spent grains from the beer. They have a fermentation process which creates biogas, which they use to create more beer. And on top of all of that, a huge field of solar panels. We are really on the, on the spot to, to run a brewery to produce beer in a sustainable way. Now we're gonna go get these steel cap shoes off. Go and check out the view from across the way. It's so nice to be back in Europe, actually. It just makes me want to like drop everything I'm doing and go on a massive European road trip. How much yeah, more traditional is this brewery? It's beautiful. Compared to I the Singapore it. one. And they don't work weekends here either, do they? No. What's interesting about that, actually, is that even though the, the brewery isn't running on the weekends, you're still creating loads of power. So they just feed it straight back into the grid. Hungry. Andreas, how long have you been the master brewer here? Since 14 years. Hey cows. <laughs> what I love about the Alps, and actually mountains in general, is it's so nice and warm in the summer, and in the winter it gets useful cold with snow. Okay, we definitely earned a Rattler. Sweet view. It's not actually a Rattler because it doesn't have it's alcohol. It's alcohol free Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's so refreshing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the really important things that's happening in the town is a sense of community and how much the Gossa brewery is actually involved in the community here because you can't just become a brewery that has zero carbon emissions overnight you have to have a lot of partnerships with people and it takes a long time to get there they've been working on this for 10 years it's not just uh, the partnerships of the locals in the town there are also partnerships with uh, the ingredients that the beer is made out of. So all the ingredients for Gossa beer are from Austria. The other interesting thing is that they get their hops from no further away than 100 kilometers. So minimizing that impact on the environment, basically. The key is you have to work in a team with good partners to work, to work consequently on targets and to never let up. But to have partners together with a good team is half of the way. And then you reach your goals. We reached our goals, we had some good luck, yeah. but most of reaching the goals was due to doing consequently step by step. Heineken are on a mission that they're calling Brewing a Better World, and one of the main things that they're focusing on is reducing their production carbon emissions in their beer production by 40% in 2020. I think that's pretty cool. Thank you. 
I am loving the new drone, very, very fun, but I so nearly crashed it into a tree. That would have been an absolute disaster. Brand new drone, ditched it. It's so warm. Go for it. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Whoa. Well, this is the brew house uh, where the beer is made. It's like the heart of a brewery. And these are all the new tanks that I use. They're way more efficient compared to the old tanks. We're going to my favorite bit of the brewery right now, the bottling. Cue a bottling montage. See you later, brewery. It's lunchtime. This is Walter. Hi, Ben. Hello. This, this nice to meet you. This is a, a 20 minutes yes. lasting procedure. Is this for the perfect gossip? This is, is this? for the perfect. perfect. So is it finished? It looks like an ice cream. Danke. Bitte. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, amazing. <laughs> it's good, eh? It's his job. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. Crossed. Perfect. And done this. <laughs> I'm only going to try it because we're going on a little river expedition. I'll have a proper beer later. Thank you. And lunch. Andreas, good to meet you. Thank you so much Thank for showing you. us so around much. your awesome brewery. To, to, to meet you and hopefully everything is in, in, in a good Everything place. is perfect, yeah. Okay, the plan was for me to go in a kayak and we're gonna go six kilometers downstream, luckily. But I've changed my mind. I wanna go on a stand-up paddleboard. <laughs> what a delight you are. <laughs> Get me one of these. Is everybody ready? Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing it from up here, but yeah. <laughs> Switching to GoPro now. That was so much fun. So relaxing being on the river, hey? Oh, what are you yes. saying? Super relaxing. Oh, wet hair. Eh? Sorry about that. Bye. See you later. Thank you for everything. Bye bye. Some flue carbon, bitte. So. Awesome. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we're so early. Bye. Thanks for the good times you and the memories. Thanks for the hair. You're welcome. <laughs> That's in two hours. The tiger print. Yeah, my friend. 
Hello mate. Ow. Welcome back to London. I'm finally home. It has been a crazy 24 hours in Austria. Fantastic to go and check out everything that Heineken are doing there at the Gossa Brewery. And it's really cool to see them sharing their insights and their knowledge and trying to make other breweries more sustainable as well. I'm gonna to go to bed. I will check you guys tomorrow. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people, and try not to get lost or killed. I love you guys, goodbye. I will take your last Phantom 4. Ooh. Yes. Oh, you have a spare battery as well. Your uh, man on the phone says you didn't have one, but that's great news. £1,229. Okay, that's... I reckon Nicole would enjoy it. Would she? Would she? No, she wouldn't. <laughs>